quarantine. While our finances are getting lean. Two siblings keep on trying to keep away from dying. Honey, Zoomers, Was that harmony? The Honey Zoomers was filmed during a global pandemic. the other day. It looks all shung now. Let me see. It looks professional, Noah. I cut it with office scissors. <laughs> How are you going to do that? I don't know. Well, then I'm stuck with this till God knows wait, when. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to sit with you. <laughs> Deb. You know, I really miss the classroom, Noah. I really do. I wish we were back. But it's still good to see the kids' faces, you know, on here. Yeah. Yeah, their faces... I wish I could look them in their little faces and say, I'm doing all I could to educate them. That's what I wish. Oh, stop that, Nora. Come on. You're a good teacher. I've been at this a long time, Deb. And you know what? I was all for the distance learning in the beginning. I really, I was. I figured, well, you know, we don't have another option. But let's be honest. It's not working. It doesn't work. Nothing's working no more. Ooh, I don't like hearing you be so cynical. Really, where's my optimistic Nora? Well, you know, a cynic is a disappointed idealist. All right, okay. But could you at least just try being positive, would you? Come on, we're going to be back in there soon. Soon, yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to hate that word. Soon never felt so far away. The kids need us in whatever way we can be there for them, all right? At least until we're back in the classroom. The streets are the new classrooms. The streets are the streets. We grew up on the streets. You're from Scarsdale. And what? There's no streets in Scarsdale? And anyway, the streets, they were different back then. The streets are always the same. That's where you do your best learning. Come on, you know that better than anybody else. There is no smart like street smart. Yeah, but, you know, street smart is a very particular thing, Noah. Think about it. You can't have one without the other. You know what I'm saying? Take away the smart, then what do you got? What are you? You're just street, right? But take away the street, and then you're just smart. You're, you're book smart, you know? No instinct, no common sense. Street smart is complete smart. Ooh, I like that. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> and what's happening out there now... These kids couldn't learn in a thousand textbooks. These kids aren't street, Nora. You know, walking around the streets don't make you street. It makes you tired. This younger generation is so ahead of everything with all the shitting things they got. Their phones are smart. Their cars are smart. Even their freaking water is smart. And our kids, with everything that we taught them, are giving a big fuck you. To the whole world! Nora, we teach middle school theater arts. Eh, they don't need us no more. Ooh, but this is a pity party. I'm gonna hang up on you. Have I ever told you about my calling? Teaching wasn't your calling? Oh, before teaching. What was it? You better sit down for this one. I'm sitting down. You ready? I studied to be a nun. No, get out of here. Nora, you a nun? Swear to God. What? I can't be a nun? <laughs> hey, I got a holy side. I don't let many people see. Apparently. I was dead serious. I joined the Franciscans. 
I went into the convent and all. Oh, how my mother cried. Nah, you're never going to give me grandkids. <laughs> oh, she made such a scene. And what happened? You're supposed to give your life to God. I gave mine to Milton. Milton? Who was Milton? Oh, he was a nice Jewish boy I met right before I took my final vows. Oh, he was cute. And he was smart. But well, not, not like not like street smart, more like bookworm type. You know, he had the glasses and... Oh, oh Milton. Milton! Wait, what? Milton? Milton? Don't you mean Milton? Milton? No, it was Milton. They forgot the O in the birth certificate. <laughs> oh, Milton. Huh. Wow, you really liked him, huh? I did. I really did, Deb. You know, like the way you liked Chester before you found out he was a molester. All right, come on with that. Milton would have been a whole different path for me. Eh. Milton was a trap. So whatever happened with this Milton? I dropped the habit for him. I left the convent and everything. I mean, how could I go back? After the things that me and my sweet Milton were doing behind the bushes. <laughs> Right before the rosary, no less. Okay, okay. So wait, you would have been Sister Nora, huh? I almost was. Oh, and you should have seen how nice I looked in my wimple. You know, Deb, you would have made a good nun, too. Me? Yeah, you'd make a good nun, yeah. You're very maternal. Like the way you take care of that brother of yours, with the special needs. I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> it's wabbit season. Oh, I'm a kidnapped. Have any luck? <laughs> so whatever happened with Milton? Oh, Milton. I prayed over it, and God finally answered me. He spoke to me. One night, I was laying in the bed all alone, and God whispered in my ear. He said, Milton. God said, Milton, like that? Uh-huh, loud and clear. Well, it wasn't loud, he was whispering. But it was, it was clear, clear as a bell, without the O and everything. You sure it was God? Deb, when God speaks to you, there's no mistake in the accent. And what, did you listen? Of course I listened. How are you not going to listen to God when he whispers in your ear like that? But you know who didn't listen? My mother. My mother didn't listen. She didn't listen to me. Nobody. She cried again. Oh, now if you're Jewish, my grandkids won't be baptized. Oh, jeez. She's the one that came between us. I left the convent, and then I lost my Milton. He dropped me like a bad habit. That's, that's a... Uh... That's a raw deal. I'm sorry about that, Nora. Eh, Milton was a trap. But I thank God every day that I found another calling. Teaching. Not teaching. Teaching is a job. This is much bigger than that. Oh, well, what is it then? Deb, it's all around us. Social injustice. Oh, right, social justice. Right, yeah. Well, the world is changing, that's for sure. The world doesn't change unless we do. I am out there every day. Well, hey, that's great for you. That's great for you, Nora. How can I live in Brooklyn without joining the cause? Well, you live in downtown Brooklyn, but... I finally found my sense of purpose in life. I've been living in a fog of ignorance all these years. Finally... My eyes are open. And not only that, I checked my phone. I walked 94,000 steps in the last two days alone. Oh, good exercise. You're telling me. Come. Join me today. Walk with me. Nora, listen. I'm really glad that you found something that, that means this much to you. I mean that. And I really am. But I, I, don't, I just don't think it's... Be a sister with me. In the cause. Please. This is... 
is important. No, I didn't say it wasn't. It is. It's important, okay? I'm just saying that people change the world in different ways. You understand? And not everybody feels good I'll meet about you at the foot of the bridge. Nora, listen. Deb, I've walked with people from all different backgrounds, all ages, from people that look just like our students to people in wheelchairs. Pe people in wheelchairs were walking? I've never been so filled with the Holy Spirit. Nora, I'm very happy for you. Dad, it's just a walk. One step in front of the other. But with every step we take, we bring ourselves closer. One step closer to freedom. Not just for ourselves, but for our students. For the whole world. I understand that you feel this way. I do. I'm making a sign for us. Us? Now, you prefer silence is violence? Nora, please, I'm trying to tell- I'm heading out. I'll be at the foot of the bridge, Manhattan side, in an hour. If you're there and you walk with me, I'll know you're part of the sisterhood. No, Nora, please, wait, don't do this to me. Love you. Come on, Nora! Yeah, love you too. How's uh, Gumbus and Gamma doing? Nora? Good. She's good. Right. Nora. More like Ignora. <laughs> Ignora! <laughs> I can't. <sighs> what are you doing? I don't know. You know? Figure it's still a little too early to cook, so I was thinking maybe I just, you know, go take a walk. Uh, walk where? I don't know. You know, just around. Yeah, okay, well, uh, be careful. I will. You need anything? Nah, the usual. Paper towels if you see them. Okay, paper towels. Hey, Deb, you don't have to go for a walk. You know, if you don't feel like it. Yeah, no, I know. You do what you want. It's a free country. I know. <laughs>